guys and welcome back to my channel today's video oh my god where has the past year gone can i just say it literally feels like five minutes ago i was filming what i got for ruby's fifth birthday and today's video is going to be what i'm getting ruby for her sixth birthday oh anyone that's got kids you will totally appreciate this i can't believe my biggest baby is going to be six Like, it doesn't seem long ago. I'd like to say tiny baby, but she was actually nine pounds, three and a half. She's never gonna live that one down. So this year, I've tried to make sure that I'm not crazy as she gets older. And obviously, children want things that are more and more expensive, just naturally, like, as they get older. I'm trying to be aware of budgeting more at birthdays and not going crazy. I think, obviously, I'd like to get her everything that she likes, but also I don't want her to expect just, like, huge mounds of presents and not actually appreciate the gift she's got. So I'm trying to be more conscious of the things I buy her, stuff that she actually is going to use, enjoy and play for years to come. Or not even years to come just get their wear and tear out of it because in previous years i found that i was literally just buying stuff for the sake of it having like more stuff to open so this year we've done things a little different so let's crack straight into it her first present i actually haven't got here now it's at my mum's house she is going to be six years old she literally there is no place in this house that gets unturned when she's at home she is in and out when they play hide and seek everywhere so we have kept this at hers i actually got the audi special buy mud kitchen for her anyone that knows ruby hopefully i'm putting up a photo of it like round here somewhere at our old house that we lived in before september we just didn't have the room for a mud kitchen obviously we've now moved house so we now have room for a mud kitchen and she always said the only thing she didn't like about being a new one is she no longer has a mud kitchen well now her prayers are answered she has her mud kitchen this was from alzi i did buy this more in july time because i knew i wanted one and i saw it came up in the special buy so this one was actually 54 pounds and 99 pence so that is her main present we are going to have to build this like the night before and like just put some wrapping paper over it but that is one of her main presents right Present number two is an accessory for the mud kitchen. This was actually from Smith. Absolutely love Smith's toy shop. I always think if in doubt, go strut it out. Go have a look around Smith's. This is £14.99. And I actually really like the idea of this one because it's a bio plastic. So it's slightly better for the environment. Don't get me wrong. She has got some plastic tut as well. But when I can, I like to try swap where possible i'm not the best person but i think trying to do something is better than doing nothing for the environment so it's bioplastic and it's actually so beautiful so this will be for all of her mud kitchen outside so she's got like spatulas bowls salt and pepper knife and it's all obviously it's bioplastic but it all feels like thick and plasticky like what are these called you're like grippies <laughs> you grippies i know what they are can you see what they are what are they yeah basically she's got like a little colander like sieve in there it's some really good stuff i think it's really nice you could use it for an indoor one else as well and i'm a little bit sad that this may be going in a mud kitchen outside but she will love it the third item we've got on ruby for her birthday is this it's a 15 piece tin tea set if you just have a little look she has had tea sets in the past however she did ask me for another one so i got this little unicorn one it's got like four cuts it's got little plates little saucers and a tray i thought again she can use this one in the mud kitchen it looks quite heavy duty so it will last slightly longer she's had like porcelain ones before which i think we bought her maybe last year for christmas or birthday and that she painted and decorated which were great but they did break quite easily. So these tin okay. ones, I thought they're a little bit more heavy duty and perfect that they can have little water in outside for their mud kitchen in summer and play inside, or even you could chuck them in the bath. It just might get a little bit dodgy in the winter. Next up, I actually got her two bits from the works. Everyone always seems to forget about the works. I really rate the works for like presents, especially gifts for other children and books really good the works 
this is not the end of what I bought from the works this year. I'll be doing Christmas hauls for what I've got the girls for Christmas for inspiration for you all as well. And the works pops up again, stay tuned. So these are actually part of the two for 10 pound deal. So it basically works out as like five pound each per present. Like that is insane and good quality. So I've got her the face painting fun. Ruby loves all things arty and she's forever saying like, oh, can you do my makeup like a cat or like a tiger? So I thought what better thing to get her than the face painting fun book. It's got eight paints, two sponges, one brush and one book. So it's got 10 like designs you can follow. So it's got literally all the step-by-step -step guides and then the sponges and the face paint. And then obviously she can be let loose on Ruby. She is Ruby. She can be let loose on Lucy as well. I'll just let them loose in the bath. They can do their own thing. And then the next thing from the works, shove that between my legs, is make your own sparkle art. Ruby loves all things sparkly. I thought this was a really good little girl's present idea. Within this, it's got a super sequence. You've got loads of sequins and loads of pages that if you can see have loads of dots on them that you can stick sequins to make pretty pictures like there's a bunny it's really cute and girly if you have like a girly girl which is what ruby still is at the moment in time this is a really nice idea it's got 400 sparkly sequin gem stickers applicators and two display stands so both of them was 10 pounds like oh bargain sit yourself down that's a good one the next present idea is the Barbie Extra. She's seen these on TV, however, I feel like I've made a little bit of a mistake. I was looking online, I was like, the purple one or the pink one? It's like purple is her favorite color, but this one looks a little bit like her with a long blonde hair. It's got like a little fluffy coat. It's got a cool like unicorn pet. And it came on TV yesterday, so I was like, oh, they're nice, aren't they, Ruby? And she was like, um, yeah, I, I prefer the purple one. That one's nice. So I bought the pink one. However, I'm just going to hope on the day that I'm sure she'll love and appreciate the pink one. Anyway, she is a really good girl and she doesn't ever come about as like ungrateful. Whereas Lucy's savage. Lucy, she has no filter. She can't hide if she's disappointed. So it's this Barbie extra doll, which I'm praying now she likes it. So it's a Barbie in a big pink fluffy coat she's got a little like pet unicorn pig and then it's got like some sweetie toys and some accessories and basically can i just touch on and say how expensive are barbie dolls how expensive has barbie dolls got i swear they used to be about 10 pounds not no more not no more this one was from Smith and it actually set me back £29.99, which I think is really quite overpriced. But when you look at Barbies and that nowadays, they are all like easy £20 up. So back in my day, I wouldn't have paid more than that. <laughs> my day, I'm only 25. I'm back in my day when I was a young girl. But no, I do think it's quite expensive. However, it is a really, really nice Barbie. So... If she doesn't play with it, I definitely will. Me and Tommy will get it out. One of the last presents we actually got Ruby was this VTech kitten. This was from Smith's as well. Smith's love me at the moment. It's absolutely fine. My bank account doesn't, but Smith starts. So this is a VTech glitter me kitty. She has seen this on an advert. I swear, advertising works are great for little children because they see it and they're like, oh my God, mommy, that advert is incredible. Can I have it, please? And then you're like, oh, okay, I'll just... Do what I can to get you what you want, darling. So this is the Glitter Me Kitty. If you touch its head. <laughs> That's not going to wind me up in about five minutes when it gets put on. That <laughs> she's going to absolutely love it. So you care for it. The stripe changes colour on its head. <sighs> You can translate the meow in by touching can its you tummy. Rub my back? It says, Can you rub my back? No, hun, I can't at this moment in time. But basically, this is special yeah. because. How do I switch it off? <laughs> it's already like, How do I switch it off? She will love this. Yeah. What? Are 
you done. So, yeah. oh my god, I swear it can hear me talking. Are you done? Yeah. Done? Yeah. I'm literally having a conversation with the toy right now. If sleep deprivation wasn't getting to me, then well, this definitely is. So basically, this is like a cuddly toy, but the paw, I'm just gonna have to talk over it because it's not being quiet. The paw basically can do like glitter tattoos. You put it and it makes like a glittery stamp. So she has asked so much, she was like, please she was like can i only have two things for my birthday mummy can i have the cat that makes stamps and then the last thing the last thing is the other thing that she has only asked for and me and tom have spoke ages about whether to get it or not like it's not a real tattoo don't, don't get me wrong i'm not getting my girl like a proper car or anything or like anything crazy but it's just a big experience so the last thing Ruby has asked for for her birthday is for her ears to be pierced. So we have never got any of our children's ears pierced, not because I have any judgment towards people that do or don't, but as a family, we just decided that we'd wait until they're old enough to make their own decision whether they wanted their ears pierced or not. So I always just presumed that like, I had my ears pierced at 11, that it would just be when she was like a bit older. I didn't think at five, she'd be like, can I have my ears pierced? So basically the other day she was like, can I have my ears pierced? mummy and we were like we just kind of like was like oh okay like let's see how you feel about your birthday like we've always said we don't want it, her to just wake up and decide it we want her to think about it for a while so we know she definitely would like it done and then we explained like it pinches it hurts quite a little bit would you still like it done she's like yes yes since then every day and if you ever ask her what she wants for her birthday she says it so I think if she still feels like it on the day, we are going to go take out the day of her birthday. Tom can sit with her because I cannot deal with that. <laughs> I, I hate seeing the kids ever in discomfort. So I'm going to get them to sit on his lap or he can hold her hand and I'll be in the wings waiting for the cuddle after and take her to go get her ears pierced. So that's about, I can't remember the last time I had my ears pierced. So I think it's about 20 odd pounds. I've averaged it out. So yeah, she will be having her ears pierced for her sixth birthday if she still decides she wants to, which is crazy. Like my little baby's growing up. If any of your little ones have had their ears pierced or if you had your ears pierced when you were longer, longer, younger, please let me know down below because it's definitely playing on my mind how she might possibly react. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Have you had your little one's ears pierced or are you someone that would like to wait until they're like 18 or old enough to then go out and do it on their own? So with all of that added up i've got my sheet because if not i wouldn't be able to remember all them prices with all of that added up that all came to 171 pounds and 95 pence so i've decided i'm gonna try average out birthdays to be about 200 pounds now they're getting older i feel there has to be a cap to it somewhere like we got to afford having three kids birthdays and christmas all close together we didn't plan that one and the timings very well did we so with it being about £171, then on top of that, I do a blue arch for the children. I bought the blue arch, and there is a video on my channel about the blue arch before, but the balloons in total will come up to about £20, and then obviously birthday cake stuff will be about £10. So in total, I will spend roughly about £200, which I think is a fair amount. Nowadays, it's quite hard to get a lot of toys for £200. I swear toys used to be like £10 and now they're easy like £30, £40 and it just doesn't look like a lot. But I'm really hoping that she likes all of these presents, she's got the two things that she's asked for and some bonus things and that we have a nice day. I hope you found this video helpful or interesting. If you did, please make sure you subscribe. I love you all and I hope to see you on my next video. Bye!